Hello everybody, today I'm gonna be showing you what Pokemon is good in OU, or rather, no, every Pokemon in OU is good in OU, but well, rather, what set is making them good in the OU metagame right now. This guide will go in alphabetical order, and I will leave the Poke Paste for all the boxes down in the description down below if you guys ever want to go and check them out. I'll just list them as something like this. For example, box one will be Amoongus all the way until Garchomp. And so on and so forth. For box two, it'll be Garganacle until Torkoal, Toxapex until Volcarona for the last box. So let's, without further ado, start off with Amoongus. Now, Amoongus, he has risen from UU all the way to OU in this metagame due to the sheer amount of physical attackers and his typing being able to resist so many things. A good example is able to resist Breloom, he's able to resist, I believe, even something like, um, who's that, Don Dozo? Yep, that's absolutely a resist. Garchomp gets beaten by it. Iron Hands, too, if the Iron Hands isn't running Ice Punch. Um, who else is it block? I can't, I can't exactly remember. Beats Tyranitar 1-on-1 -on -one as well, top specs, too. So yeah, it's just generally a really good, you know, wall. Can spread sleep, Giga Drift for just... Regeneration basically, regenerator for you know, this is what makes him such a good wall. Clear smog to remove any sort of set of sweepers that are trying to set up on you. So, this thing absolutely is mainly a Don Dozo wall. Like, clear smog just prevent Don Dozo from setting up on you. you. Put him to sleep with Spore and you kick a dream spam him. That's literally how you beat him. If Don Dozo tries to tear a grass or anything that resists this move, you always have Sludge Bomb anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Max defense 252 HP, force to death. Next one, Annihilate. Now, I'm gonna go to these two at the same time. If it's terror type for this, you generally, I think you're going to want to run, um, what's it? Oh, I think it's water. I feel like you either want water, water or steel. Because it resists, um, it doesn't resist flying, and this one resists, uh, fire. I think water would be better. Or you can even go pure poison, but I, I feel like water is the best one. That's just my preference, though. If Annihilate next. Now, that's our, the, no, the max attack. Max Speed Annihilate. This one has Leftovers, Defiant, this one's a Taunt, Bulk Up set. Now, I feel like this set is usable, I would say, but this set is definitely what's making Annihilate more broken. The Max HP, Max Medef, and then, you know, just General Bulk, and then you use Bulk Up to raise that defense stat of yours. That's pretty low right now, only 197. It's pretty dang low. And then you use that, you know, that horrific attack stat that you have is 266 without any investment. It's crazy. Use that horrific attack stat after a bulk up and getting hit multiple times, you can rest up and your rage fist is now ready to go and start sweeping a whole team. It's it's that simple. Terrify water again just for general sustainability. I made a video on this before. If you guys want to go check it out, you can on my channel. Next one up is Backscalibur. Now Backscalibur, you can run this Glaive Rush Choice Band set. You're gonna in my opinion, I feel like you might want to tear Dragon for this as well, but Terra Ice Dragon doesn't really matter what you do. Wave Rush, Icicle Crash, I Earthquake for the coverage, and Ice Shard as a priority move. Max Attack, Adamant Nature, 427 attack is nothing to set. I just say that much. This one is the Wave Rush, Icicle Spear, Dragon Dance set. Now, you could run Terra Ice on this, like I as we mentioned above. It's up to you. It's really just up to you. If you want Terra Dragon, Terra Ice. I feel like just running Terra Ice because I feel like Ice is a better type of Terra into. Loaded Dice will make it so the Icicle Spear hits a ridiculous number of times. You could run Loaded Dice, or you could also run Leftovers if you really want it. And if you run Leftovers, you're going to be running Icicle Crash. It's smooth. Now, the reason why I prefer uh, Icicle Spear is just because Icicle Spear is able to deal more damage more consistently. And with always a guarantee of 4 hits. Now, that to me, that's pretty insane, right? Guaranteed 4 hits. So, I think, I think it's best to just pick up a little bit nice stuff. Um, this one you're gonna go Jolly Nature to hit max speed, and then you know, just max level attack. The 4 for the speed F is that's normally where you put it. <laughs> and then next one is Breloom. Now, Breloom is such an incredibly good Pokemon. Honestly, you could Terra Grass or Terra Fighting. Now, I feel like Terra Fighting would be nice just so you get like this insane Mach Punch. And then you have Spore, you know, just in case you have anyone who tries to switch out on you, you can Spore them on the switch. In. And you just have this Bullet Seed Nuke, I would say. It's Bullet Seed Nuke. <laughs> it really is a Nuke to me. You could run Loaded Dice again, like I did with Baxcalibur, or you could run a Life Orb. 
It's really up to you. I feel like just running loaded dice because I just... Man, I, this item is fun to use. This item is fun to use. Just seeing this bullet seed deal like a minimum of 150 damage due to the technician is crazy to me. But yeah, I, if I were you, I'll just keep loaded dice on. I mean, sure, you could run life orb and still do ridiculous damage as well, but I feel like loaded dice is better. That's just me though. Next up, we have Serilich. Now, again, I did a video on this before. If you guys want to go and check out this Pokemon, you can. It's on my channel. Aerotype into fighting. I forgot to change this. Sorry about that. Return time into fighting. Focus Sash so you can live a hit and get your weak armor boost going. Aero Blade so you can, you know, just a nice stab move. Shadow Sneak priority. Close combat velocity. Absolutely destroy King Gambit and Tyranitar. Things that would normally check you basically. Terra Fighting would again power up your close combat and allow you to resist Sucker Punches from Chan Pao. You know, Sucker Punches from King Gambit, Sucker Punches from Lock Kicks, all that kind of stuff. Um, but no, not 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 lock kicks, not lock kicks. Uh. I mean, lock kicks would probably still kill you. I'm pretty sure, but I mean, it depends. If it's not a life orb set, it probably won't kill you. I think if it's like all leftovers or something weird like that. I have no idea, man. Probably won't kill you with that. So yeah, max attack, adamant nature, two five two speed, and four inch per depth. Now the reason why you don't go full on the loss in here is because three eight three might seem a lot, but because your ghost stab is literally shadow stab. That's a small problem with the Pokemon. It's a Ghost Dash Shadow Sneak. It's not something like, let's say, like Vex Caliber, where this one's a bandit set. So, this one you're normally sending out as a Revenge Killer if you want to use Ice Shard. For Breloop, you're always going to be clicking Mach Punch as your Fighting type stat because you have a 1.5 boost on it. It's a 68 power move. You know, it's not that bad anymore. And if you tear into Fighting, even more so, it's going to go from a 90 base power move, a stab, of course, it's going to go into a 120 base power move. It's crazy. It's good. But with this move, it's a base 60 power move including stab, Braylon is doing quite a bit, so... Really, this move is not that awesome. Uh, wait, no, Braylon is dealing... Yeah, 120. Yeah, two times of this, two times of this. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, we want to admit that this set is another set that has been really just going unknown, but it's a real thing. It's a real thing. Aerotype, Bug, Serulich, Leftovers, and Flash Fire. How you play this is you just immediately terrestrialize on a Ground-type move. Literally, or a ward type move. Just terrestrialize and bulk up immediately. I feel like you could run either Modest Nature, or you could also run Jolly Nature. Uh, for a second of this video, I'm gonna run Jolly Nature. But, yeah. The set you're running, Shadow Sneak, Bitter Blade. Using that flash fire to negate block pants weakness to fire base. That leftover is so longevity. Yeah, this set is pretty fire. This set is really good. Because, well, things that would normally. Well, the ghost thing like Goldchomp. Goldchomp is now like. Uh oh, what do I do with this thing? <laughs> things like, let's say, especially like Great Tusk or Iron Treads, especially. Iron Treads is now in a lot of trouble against this Pokemon. So, yeah. I actually hit the table there, sorry about that. Next one is Charizard. The outclassed by Chi Yu Pokemon. Now, this Pokemon is absolutely outclassed by Chi Yu. I don't recommend using it, but it can be used because Solar Power and Choice Dex does make it hit ridiculously hard on the site. So, yeah, it's just basically your average like Gen 8 Charizard set, honestly. Uh, if you're running this in the sun, you could run like, instead of like, there's such a current Solar. So, you definitely got to be running the yeah, run Solar Beam over it, um, yeah. yeah Terra Fire is just so he can hit even, even harder, basically. Gen Pal is the next one, so the Bandit set, Crunch, Isaac Crash, Sacred Sword, and Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch can be an exchange for Ice Shard if you really want to, but I think Sucker Punch is just generally better. Terra Terrestrialized Dark. Now this one is basically the same as the previous one. Now Swords Dance can... Swords Dance and Sacred Sword can be exchanged for Sucker Punch and Ice Shard. Like, generally Shen Pao wants 6. Six of these moves, but he can only have four of them. So you can really just play around with all six of the moves and fit in whatever four you think works best for your team. Let's say, oh, I want Chain Pass my Revenge Killer. You can fail Sucker Punch at Ice Shard instead of Sword Stance or Sacred Sword. Or I want Chain Pass to be a Sweeper. I could use Sword Stance set with like this basically. Or if I want Chain Pass to easily get the boost of power, you run the Band set. But Chain Pass is always going to have this ability that's going to reduce your defense by twenty five percent, which is that I calculated around a one point three three times power increase to your moves. So it's basically like a life orb boost. Your champ is always holding a life orb. 
Again, you can you can change out heavy duty boots for life orb, but I feel like heavy duty boots is so absurd because of things like Glamora, Garchomp, Great Tusk, Iron Tread, all being around there. I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need the boots. Now next, Chi Yu. What people would assume to be the best Pokemon in the team right now. This Pokemon's insane. Like I said just now, this is basically a better version of Slow Power Charizard. Just without the drawbacks of losing my health to every turn. And I don't have to be in the sun for this thing to be overpowered. So yeah, this thing can this thing is absolutely insane. Like it one shots things like it one shots everything, <laughs> I feel. Like what 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 Pokemon are there? Let's see. One shot, I feel like I feel like you could maybe live a hit. No, you can't live a specs over heat, nope. You live because of your ability, blah blah blah. I can pull it absolutely get smash, cyclic girl get smash. You I don't know whether you you probably don't get smashed, yeah. But my, my point is that this thing is like destroying over taking the metagame. Like it's it destroying reasons. <laughs> and that's what's scary. The rest lies into the psych type just so you can counter any sort of fighting type that wishes to try and hit you. For example, a great example is Breloom. Why well, Breloom came and tried to mock punch you? Oh, I'm Terrasplice Psychic now. What are you gonna do to me? Exactly. Anything that tried to kill you with that, it's not gonna work out. So yeah, this is the set. The spec set. The most common set right now and the failure set out there. Max speed, max special attack. Anything. Next up would be have the Double Dance GU set. With Nasty Plot and Flame Charge to boost speed and um, special attack. Now I would say this set is less common, but like if you really don't like taking stealth long times, you could sacrifice your huge increase in damage for more basically survivability. It's not long term, it's survivability. But um yeah, more survivability so you can live more. Rather you don't have to come down with stealth while it takes 25% each time. So yeah, this double dance set is a real thing as well. You could exchange flame charge for overheat or psychic, again it's up to you. You could I, I would recommend to wrestle the fighting type. No fire type, but you could always go dark type as well. But fire type is the one that I would go with. Claude Zyre, the OE wall. Now this thing is pretty annoying because it has water absorb. It basically has minus one weakness, and and now what? What it has like only two weaknesses in psychic and ground type. It's crazy. It used to have three, not two. It is it's really funny. So toxic, toxic spikes and toxic. You could run instead of like. Uh, toxic Spikes, you could run this uh, I believe, and I think it has normal specs, right? Yeah, it does. You could run normal specs as well. That's what normally people are running. Um, I feel like, yeah, I think spikes might be better if you're already doing toxic as Pokemon. So, Earthquake Spikes Recover. Although it has APP, Claude Zyre is just such an annoying Pokemon to deal with, actually. Like, look at that juicy health stat, bro. Look at that juicy health stat. The defense stat is, like, alright. They're making up for that with the juicy health stat, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, Thrasilize it to steal. You completely ignore any attempts of uh, psychic type of I'm not trying to kill you. And well, it's just psychic type is just a type of the mob. This general. You could also go with something like um what's it called? I feel like flying if you really hate dealing with ground type. I feel like you is a better one. Up next is Corviknight. Now this Pokemon has not fallen off despite all the power creep we have received. It really hasn't, it's one of the top usage Pokemon and it's so so good to see it. I love Corviknight. I use the Pokemon a lot. Um, so yeah, this set, it's basically just max defense, max HP. I think you should put the A in here. You could go back to running like how you would run it in like Gen 8, which is like the 32. Spit death or something like that. I remember the exact set it was in Gen 8. I'm gonna go check it out real quick. Um, like, if you import the set right here, the Deepbox set. Yeah, so it's 88. I was wrong. I was so wrong. <laughs> yeah, so it's 88 here. You could run that. Um, I feel like maybe you should. But it's not really necessary. I feel like just going all, all out on that is nice as well. I feel like just going all out on defense is nice. Like just keeping it like this. Mirror armor instead of pressure now because pressure is not, you know, ideal. Because stall is not as common anymore. And stall is not going to be, you know, having that much recovery as well. So not only is it not common, it's not going to last that long. So you don't really need pressure anymore. 
you just use mirror armor instead in case like that random chi you tries to psychic on your switch in you get the spell death drop and not suddenly that spell death drop is returned to that chi you it's 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 a nice it's a nice random debuff you know let's say an intimidate pokemon switches in on you then you return the intimidate back to them so something like let's say if landorus t that red the game is not right now there are some intimidate pokemon that are real like gyarados but gyarados is not using that being used that much but yeah just this ability in general is just better Tactical, oh my god it's pokemon pokemon is crazy just shed tail rapid spin new turn knockoff it's just tornadoes t but i have shed tail literally that's it <laughs> max hp max speed point for death just get up those fast shed tails pass it to someone in the, in the sweeping category win the game Ditto was actually in the OU tier in this game. I'm surprised. Normally it's in the ZU tier, but it no, normally it's in the P tier. But here it is in the OU tier. I'm shocked. Now, there's nothing much to say about it. It's just Ditto, right? Like, <laughs> what can I say about it? The Terra Thrive Steel just what it means, I guess, in case you ever need a defensive typing. I'm, I'm just running max speed on it in case, like, let's say for some reason you can't transform into a Pokemon. I don't know what would cause that, but for some reason you can't transform. At least you have timid max speed to go in for you, so you could actually try to start and then transform into them. And that's about it, that's all I can do simply do. I'm just shocked that it's actually... I'm just shocked. Gone. Dope. Dope. This Pokemon... This Pokemon is, is just... Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like fighting it, but it's, it, it can be countered just by tricking it or easily just taunting it. It can't do anything like that. But it's just such an annoying Pokemon. Look at this, look at 150 HP, it's just... Why? Why? Why does it have such a high defense stat as well? Why? How many Pokemon with 150 HP have like no like defense under Spadef? But Spadef gets carried by its HP. Why? This is not very fair. I don't have a Pokemon that that's a sad for it. It's just such a, such a good wall. Why are you saying, oh, rest? Makes you sleep for two turns. Bondozo doesn't care. He literally doesn't care. He's so tanky. The next. Oh, I love this big one. Dragapult. I gotta change his terror type to Terror Ghost. Again, I made a video on this before. It's outdated now because Palafin got banned, but this is basically the shit that is. Life Orb, Dragon Darts, Terra Blast, Suck Punch, Dragon Dance. Now, Dragapult with an actual ghost type stab move it's and it's physical by the way not much out of all it's physical it, it just makes it it's physical one got abandoned gen 8 uh national dex it's it's crazy it's crazy 372 attack it's, it's actually insanely high <laughs> it's ridiculously high it's one of the pokemon you can run uh, adamant on and it still has like this speed what what is this i don't even know man and Soccer Punch just allows you to kill anything that like, like let's say, um, who, who is the guy that likes to try and come in and like, thousand years or something like that, Serral Edge, yeah, guy that gets punched in the face. Um, this is generally just for anything that tries to come in on you and like, do a parry move, some shenanigans. You can just always shock punch him, you know, bang, and you're dead. So yeah, this set is just insane. And there's also the original spec set from the, uh, Gen 8 metagame. It's still a thing being used rather often often in this game it's just that now you you have to kind of figure out whether it's gonna be this set or this set or a bandit set yeah i forgot to mention band is also a thing and you just replace dragon dance with u turn and then you stack the band onto it so yeah it's normally one of the three only one of the three so yeah next we have dragonite now this dragonite i forgot to ev it but it's basically just uh, put, I'll put Jolly on it, but honestly, just leave us Adam. In. I feel like Adam looks better. So yeah, this is just the extreme killer, but better. Dragonite is normally known for its really, really powerful extreme speeds after it gets all the dragon dances, and now it has Terra Normal. Give it a stab boost. Like that's just really, really good. Such a good Pokemon to use. You know, it, it wasn't really a bad Pokemon to begin with, but now it's so, so insane. And now, of course, a banded dragon is real. Terrasplicing into the normal type so you can get the extreme speed boost, or you can terrasplice into that dragon type to hit even harder with your outrages. Now, that's pretty outrageous if you ask me. 
uh, not intended there by the way, I just said that, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, next up, we have Garchomp. Now, Garchomp, this is the tank set, and it's still a thing. This is another Gen 8 Pokemon that has been able to carry over its set to the next game. It doesn't have Toxic anymore, but it's able to replace that with Spikes now. Which, depends on what you think, it's a win. It's a win-lose, so it's more of just like, it's a trade, basically. It's just a trade. Now, you need to run slightly more speed on this Garchomp. Normally, it would be running around this much speed. 120, and then investing the rest in the defense. But nowadays, you have to run a little bit more. Why? So you can outspeed Great Tusk. Or Glamora, especially. Those two you really want to outspeed. So, yeah. There you go. You should speed, right? And Terra Type Steel, again, just because it's so good. Like, you get rid of your, of your Fairy Type weakness, you get rid of your Ice Type weakness. Right? It's just it's just a good. It's a good typing. <laughs> Completely negates everything that Garchomp stood for. And now. We bring back a really old set from Generate 5. The Choice Scarf Garchomp set. Now, why this set is actually able to be good here is because this game does not have a lot of fairy types. Unlike Grimmsnarl and Iron Balian. To switch in on its ridiculously strong outrage. It's 394 attack. Whoa, this thing is crazy. 303 speed might not seem like a lot, but it's higher than and 300, which again, like I said, it's a more great plus. Super important speed to you. And also Backscalibur, that's another one you want out. And Terrestrializing the Dragon, I think, will allow you to live an Ice Shard from Backscalibur. Not, not a banded one, but uh, a normal Ice Shard from Backscalibur. And then you can return him with an Outrage. And you can Terrestrialize into Dragon type just so this Outrage is even more stinging. It's super, super awesome. Dragon Claw, just in case you do not want to lock this up your outrage. And then you're keeping, you're basically just keeping outrage, earthquake, dragon claw, fire fang. Fire fang is for things like steel type, like let's say air balloon, gold angle, or a Corviknight. Again, that's the reason why you're running fire fang, because again, in generation 8, it's about Corviknight, and Corviknight is still a thing. You're running that mainly for Corviknight. And yeah, that's about it for the first part. Also, also Sizor. Yeah, Sizor gets absolutely smashed for Fire Fang. Forgot about that. Move on to the second part. Second, I would say. Garganachi. <laughs> nah, I'm sorry I said that. That, that was a joke that uh, you saw a lot of. But yeah, Garganacle. Garganacle, basically, Garganacle, Garganacle, Garganacle. I don't know how you're going to pronounce that, Garganacle. Basically, Garganacle uses Salt Cure, Iron Defense, and Body Fresh Recover. I'm pretty sure everyone here has seen it a bunch of times on Showdown Rider. Max Special Defense, Max HP, more Defense, blah blah blah, Terrasalize into the Fairy or Flying type, and then Body Press to the whole team, blah blah blah, Salt Cure, so nothing wants to come in on him. Yeah. Yeah, this Pokemon's annoying. It's annoying, but good. In the right hands, this thing's the most annoying thing. Oh, then go. If Chi is not the most broken Pokemon this year, this probably is. Okay. Look at this, man. Like, this ability. What? <laughs> Why is it just immune to status? I can come in on Defog. I can come in on Defog. I can come in on anything. I can come in on Rapids because of a Ghost Step as well. That was not fine right away. Like, that's not fair. This is almost not fair, but it's the thing. Make it rain, Shadow Ball, Focus Blast, Trick. Trick is one of the things that I mentioned before. It absolutely destroys Don Dozo and any sort of stall. This Pokemon is not only a Wall Breaker, it's a Stall Breaker and a Revenge Killer all at the same time. It's it's unfair. <laughs> Pokemon's unfair. And its typing is like one of the best offensive and defensive typings as well. It has the same typing as Aegis Slash, and Aegis Slash is an amazing Pokemon. And it's just doing whatever Aegis Slash wanted, just that I'm fast with it. And I hit almost as hard as Aegis Slash, by the way. Next up is the Air Balloon Nasty Pot set that you put or go Focus Last for uh, Recover if you really want to, but I feel like keeping Focus Last here is nice because he really appreciates Fighting Type. And you can throw out Slash into Fighting Type. To get rid of this move, you probably want to throw out Slash into Pure Steel Type. That's up to you. This set is probably less dangerous than this set. 
but it's still viable. Because I guess coming on Great Tusk, absolutely free. Unless Great Tusk clicks knock off. If you know the Great Tusk does not have knock off, this thing is just a tough free switch. Great Tusk cannot touch his Pokemon. Next up, we have the All Hazard Setting, Glyph Mora. Now, this was the one. Let me just say. Why is it like really do this, man? <laughs> like, man. It's so annoying because, like, most of the time, no matter what you do, this guy gets at least, like, two passes. So, if you're a special attacker, he's gonna get, like, three passes. If you're a physical attacker, he's gonna get, like, four. Yeah. And, he's, and his speed tier is, like, it's like decent. It's slower than Great Tusk, but it's still good. And his special attacks that like it's like he's not it's not like you can just come in on the thing for free. If you're not using like a really high defense Pokemon or something that resists this thing, you're still taking a lot of damage from this thing. It's, it's, it's bizarre. <laughs> Pokemon is bizarre to me. Terratide in the ground, by the way. Um, just so your earth power has a stab now and it hits ridiculously hard. If you ever, for some reason, have Glamour as your last Pokemon, and hey, you realize it could win the game. Sure. And then Great Tusk! Ooh! This Pokemon is basically just Dawn Fan and everything Dawn Fan wanted. You could exchange Hit Long Rush for Earthquake if you want, but I think Hit Long Rush is better than Earthquake. Although Hit Long Rush has less PP, so I feel like. You know what? I feel like maybe Earthquake is better because it has more PP. Ground slice into the water or the ground slide depending on whether you want to run this on the defensive step. I feel like you should run this on the defensive step because you're already running max speed and max attack. Rapid spin just to get rid of hazards like every single hazard should move or do. It's just that he can put the hazards back on with stop rock. Rocky helmet just for any physical attacker looking at you turn out on him, taking a 316% off of his 299 defense stat. So he just bulky, he eat attack, he set up rocks, he attack. Gets rid of your rocks and then he kills. That's basically the Pokemon. Now this is another set that I find really really cool. This is the Assault Vest Great Tusk. This set is, is crazy. Yeah, let me just say that this set is crazy. It can live a Specs Cheese overheat. Yes, 100% of the time it lives an overheat from Specs Chiyu. And it can definitely kill a Chiyu with Hit Long Rush or Close Combat. It, this Pokemon's insane. Okay? It, it, it doesn't have the rocks anymore. But it still can get rid of the opponent's hazards. So all you have to do is just have another Pokemon use rock. It's not that hard. And for something that's this interesting and like... You wouldn't expect it, you know what I mean? But you just wouldn't expect a Great Tusk to be running more spud death than it has defense. Like that's just crazy, but that's what people do. And it's so cool as well. It's like another time I got clapped by a Max Spud Def Chiyu. It, it was bizarre, but it, it, it won him the match because I just assumed that it was the normal Chiyu. Sometimes it's stepping out of the box or not really reward you with some amazing things in this game. And that's what this set is. One of those things. Yeah, so if you guys ever want to use this set, this set it's just really fun to use. I, I suggest you try it out on one of your teams. Just put it on any team. It, it does decent. Yeah. Grim Snarl. This Pokemon has already been a threat to G the VGC meta ever since it was added in. And now it's a threat to the singles meta as well. I mean it used to be, but like now it's even worse. It used to be just the, the premier screensetter with Prankster, like the light screen taunt and the light play. This made it like a ridiculous Pokemon on its own terms, and now it gets Parting Shot. Prankster Parting Shot is absurd. The only Pokemon that was known for Parting Shot is incredible. That's gonna eat. And I used it for like a few of my videos, and it just, it just puts it away from the first. Pokemon's too good. This Pokemon's too good. This Pokemon's too good. Like, the only thing that can, like, stop it is, like, any of the, like, the room, the room Pokemon. But other than that, it's, like, probably the only dark types in the game. I mean, like, Mouse that's a thing. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Not the many dark types can stop him. Yeah, Grim Snarl. If you have, like, used it or seen him being used, you... You're lucky, I guess. Yeah. Because this thing is, it's, it's a demon. It's an absolute demon. 
Not an offensive demon, but just an annoying. Next up, we have Iron Hand. Now, with Iron Hands, this Pokemon is like really, really slow. But he makes up for that by having this ridiculous HP stat higher than that of Don Dozo. A ridiculous attack stat matching that of Aegis Slash. And a really, really good defense stat. I mean, like the special attack stat and special defense stat are not that great, but this combo with this HP is enough to make him live like almost every single game. Which is just. Grass okay. Blast into the Flying type just so you can juke out any earthquakes coming from a Color Chop or Tingle they do not like it when you go Terra Flat. <laughs> yeah. So Swords Dance, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Drain Punch. Now most of the time when you're Drain Punching, you're not getting back much of your health because your health stats so, so chunky. But it doesn't matter because like, it's still something. And by getting back that bit of your health, you're making it so that you're making it so much harder for your opponent to KO you over This Pokemon normally, it looks like an earthquake from a Frog Chop. It's that type of Bizarre, the Pokemon's bizarre. So yeah. This set, again, try it out. Ridiculous, ridiculous Pokemon. Next up we have Iron Maw. Now this Pokemon is something. Fire Dance, Fudge Wave, Energy Ball, Agility, X, Special Attack, Modest Nature, Max. Now, Iron Moth could also want a spec set with the exact same thing, just remove agility for something like uh, Overheat or Flame Blowing would be fine. But dang, this thing is, once you get an agility going as a fire, fire we done special attack boost, it can absolutely roll through a whole team. It can literally just roll through a whole team. There's a reason why this thing is still able to stay in OU while still doing it down in Yugi, because it has a good able to set up and randomly just start sweeping out of nowhere like you just you just predict that oh he's gonna fire dance me and he just gets on agility and he starts banging you with all of these moves yeah. okay next up we have iron treads now iron treads is just well dawn fan yeah it's just dawn fan booster energy so he becomes much much faster than he already is and then you just run max attack just so you can hit as hard as possible. At the same time, you know, just set up your rocks, set up your get rid of the opponent's rocks, for a quick iron hit for your general attack. Now, people generally prefer this over a uh, great tusk. No, people generally prefer great tusk over this, but I prefer this over great tusk because it has a speed type which I just find to be better than fighting. Because it I just I just prefer this type a lot more. But yeah, I think um by testing and stuff, Great Tusk is better. It's just that this Pokemon has a better speed here. So it's really up to it for bulk and offense over just speed and defense. Well, this thing has a defensive typing. Great Tusk is a bulk build. Next, next up is my okay, my favorite Pokemon. In this case, I'm bad. I used this set before. I used it with Psy Shock instead of Thunderbolt. So it could absolutely smash Claw Sire. And it did its job. Because <laughs> no one would expect Psy Shock on this Pokemon. So a booster energy to show a quad drive on his 364 speed, 339 special attack is basically a Weavile on the special attack side. And he has Calm Mind, Thunderbolt, Aura Sphere, Blast. This is the Calm Mind set. Okay. Again, this Pokemon, after one comma, you don't even need a comma most of the time actually. It just breaks everything. It's way too fast, and it breaks anything. This is a spec set. The spec set, again, equally crazy. Just that instead of, you sacrifice that one time speed boost, you get a permanent special attack. Which just makes your already broken moves even more broken. Yeah, this Pokemon, this Pokemon is really just like, it's not that broken on paper, but in practice, a fairy and fighting type is so It hits like everything, like just literally everything. But I'm not this king. Gambit. 
Now this Pokemon just has this attack stat, this ability, Supreme Overlord. Now get this, it might not seem about 10%, wow, that's pathetic. But you're thinking about that, three Pokemon are using die, he has a life orb. To rationalize it to the dark type, give him a black glasses, and some his sucker punch is... Wow, okay. You know what, let's do a quick calculation to see how much his sucker punch actually is. So if we're actually taking just a 70 base power act from him, which is his sucker punch, right? And multiplying it by his black glasses, assuming 3 of your Pokemon are down, and 3 or 4 Pokemon you send out, will be another 1.3. Now it's already 110 base power. What if I Terrasmalize him into the Divine type? And now you're suddenly throwing out a 218 base power move? What? It's, it's obnoxious and that's a priority even. Coming off of this attack stat, it's not even like a low attack stat or anything. It's a very high attack stat. This Pokemon is just, it's so bulky as well. It's so bulky as well that like no one even dares to try and attack you. If they don't have like a fighting type move or fire type move, they won't try to attack you. Because they know that they probably can't break you. It's, it's insane, this Pokemon's crazy good as well. Jedi has just so many good Pokemon that that's why they're all in the OQ tier. Now after this video, I'll probably make um, a video on those Pokemon that are good in UU. Now that video is going to be a little bit more interesting because as you see, in UU tier, there are actually some Pokemon that are great and some Pokemon are also great. Like let's say, who's using Obama's over there? Who's using, let's say, um, Appleton? You know what I mean? Who's going to be using Cryogon over there? Who's going to be using Delibird? Yeah. But yeah. The link will be shorter probably, but it will still be significant. So I'll probably make that one soon. Next time we have Locket. Pokemon is... Oh wow, it's stats are garbage and thing. It's a really like, oh wow. That's, that's like, it doesn't make its damage output that great. But you think about it, right? Most of the ways that Pokemon you're gonna be modeling something is by resistance. Pokix ignores them <laughs> most of the time. And the fact that he has a 90 base power move, Sucker Punch, 70 base power, a very strong future and because bug type stab and throw chop is for general attacking. Parallax passing into bug or or bar type, it doesn't matter. You're gonna be getting big damage either way. This thing, I believe its first impression does like 40% to a Corbin Knight. Is it? No, not 40%, like 30% or something. It's really big. It's a really big hit. Now let's say for example use it uh, Hmm. I just remember that this guy's first impression, it can kill Serulege as a fighting type. So it, it just completely bypasses it, it doesn't kill. Just, I mean, ignore the resistance and kill Serulege in one. Piece. It's absurd. This move was absurd. It might not seem strong on paper, but in practice. Oh, 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 you're in for a treat. Next up, we have Marshall. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Marshall, I'm playing Marshall. This Pokemon is pretty simple. Bad stats. What item? Good ability. What the hell move? <laughs> what the hell status move? What the hell speed? <laughs> yeah, it explains itself. Basically, Opalash and Bomb, off of technicians have 300 base power move, and with this Terra type into normal and stab, it's gonna become a 600 base power move. Nice attacks that, but like, the 600 base power move, is, you can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong with that. It feels like. It can kill a Road of Wash with 100%, pretty sure. Nine boosts. You can kill a lot of Pokemon for 100%, yeah. That's why it's still in the OU tier, despite people saying, oh, oh, okay, just brush it off. No. Oh, nice attack stand stuff. Oh, nice bulk. But when he actually starts going in the right hands, I think it's a team. Next up, wow, my personal favorite Pokemon to use, Yaskarada. Choice Scarf, Flower Trick, Knock Off, Play Rough, and U-Turn with the Terra Left, Terrasplization type of Fairy. Now, 
Basically, by running this fairy typing, you are able to say goodbye to Birds of Sucker Punch. Goodbye to Chen Pao's Sucker Punch damage, you know what I mean? Because you can just return it with the play rough after that. Or rather, goodbye to Chen Pao's Hope of Ice Shard. Um, goodbye of Dragon Ball ever hoping to, let's say, drink a meteor. You know? And getting stabbed on fairy type is never bad. It's such a good typing. And a Pokemon this fast, a choice scarf is basically making like one of my favorite Pokemon in the game, Greninja. Now, in that Dex, Greninja normally now runs a choice scarf set with um same thing, max speed, but just like a mix set. Now this thing is basically almost like Greninja in this sense already. He's just literally just Greninja but only physical decks. And it works out for him. So good on him, man. Like I really love Flower Trick, it just completely bypasses anything like Gondozo. Don't care about your curse boost, just to drop a flower on you and you die. Knock off just your nice ghost dark type stab move just to get rid of any sort of item that they have on a switch or something. Play rough is again just nice to turn into and terrestrialize into, makes it really really strong. U turn is just a pivot move. Not much to say about that. Now we're on to Orth Warm. Now for Orth Warm. I have used this Pokemon video before. If you want to, you can check it out. So, basically, you're just running Shed Tail, Iron Defense, Leftovers, Longevity. I changed it up a little bit. I made it so it's a old nature, but a max for that. So, yeah. If you want to look at him, you can go and look at my Drago Pult video. It has Orthorm and Psychos on it. And it's another one of those Pokemon I've been using. What are you using? And I feel like it's overshadowed a little too much by Cyclops. So should be used now. Next we have Quack Wave Hole. Now Quack Wave Hole is one of those Pokemon that I personally don't use that much, but I have seen people win games quite a lot. The combination of water and fighting is like the combo of Keldeo, and Keldeo is always gonna be Pokemon. So the coverage and Urshi as well, same thing as Urshi. So the coverage that it receives is, is tremendous, and the signature move combined with its ability makes it really, really good. There's max speed, a max attack, dolly nature, and points for that. That's it. Terrasmus and the flying type, you get Brave Bird, um, Stab, and you also remove your Grass type weakness, and your Psychic type weakness, and your Flying type weakness. Fairy type weakness. <laughs> Remove a lot of weaknesses. It's 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 nice to add. And yeah, boring. And I've done a video on this Pokemon before. Acrobatics with booster energy and flying side is still a really really good set. Even with a dish out ridiculous damage like a Mega Salamence really. It's basically a Mega Salamence but longer in my opinion. It was so strong. This is a bandit set as well. Again, ridiculously strong Pokemon here. Don't sneeze on this Pokemon. This thing is statistic. It's 414 attack. It's adamant nature. It's nuts. Actually nuts. Next we have Scizor. Partition is good type. It's the premier Ball of Punch Killer. With a single sword that this thing gets single hard to take down a lot of Pokemon. I mean, a lot of Pokemon, a lot of Pokemon just died as Pokemon you get me once he gets a sword sense up. Just Terrasalize into Zero type and start spamming Bullet Punch. Almost nothing can come in on that, actually. I don't know, like, if you have, like, a Don Dozo, Cloud Sire doesn't like coming in on it, Chi Chiyu doesn't like it, Chan Pao dies, Corfinite is okay with it, Sakura doesn't like it, Ditto comes in, you know, eats it, Don Dozo is okay, Jigapult doesn't like it, Dragonite doesn't like it. Like, bro, Tyranitar doesn't like it, Skeletor just. I guess you can just knock off the Skeletor at that point, but he doesn't have a knock off anymore. Just nice flash. <laughs> yeah, the gist is that he, he threatens most offensive Pokemon. And he doesn't care about speed because of the priority move. So yeah, that's why like Cyber still and now in this power crap meta metagame because of Terrasmus and Steel type. And he's actually been shifted from the UU to the OU tier in this game, where in Jet A he was, you know, the UU. Next we have Skeletor. Now Skeletor is just the physical wall that if you let him keep attacking 
whatever is in front of him, it will snowball into your death. And I have had that happen to me once or twice. The combination of will o -Wisp and Unaware makes it so that there's literally no Pokemon that can actually kill him. Yeah. And will o -Wisp makes it heck stronger. Into 130 base power. Off a 256 special attack set, not bad already. And he has a fiery dance, but a hundred percent now. So the special attack is always hundred percent raised. How about that with 130 base power hex? And he can actually kill things very easily. Pokemon is really really good as a wall. It's like it's really just the definition of a snowball effect. Next we have one of the ruination Pokemon King Lu. Well last of them actually. How's Wu Chen? Double set to the U tier. Pretty bad Pokemon in the U tier. Okay, this is the last one. King Lu. Leftovers Festival Lu. Basically makes it like Green the Wind Ball too. 155 pace HP. Remember how I was saying what was that Pokemon? What was it called? Was it was it Iron Hands? Yeah, 154. Yeah, this is one point higher. <laughs> this is literally just one point higher, and it's so ridiculous. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Just max out for death. Get the four in its attack, and there you go. But get the four in its defense, and there you go. Unbreakable wall. <laughs> Eat specs over here from Chiyu like breakfast, bro. Because this Vessel of Ruin basically reverses the Beats of Ruin effect, so... So it balances it out. So yeah, he just basically eats Chiyu's moves like it's nothing. He can counter kill with an Earthquake, so Chiyu never wants to stay on this Pokemon. Spikes and Warwind just make it so that... Oh, nice Pokemon. I see you're trying to set up on me. Get out of my house. Throw them out. Ruination just allows you to kill any other threats like let's say a Galadurch trying to set up for another team new who trying to set up half so you just get rid of the health bar. So it makes it way easier for any of your other Pokemon to kill it. Because things like Ting Lu, getting getting his health down 50% makes it a lot a lot easier for someone to kill it. Considering the fact that his health stat is 415. It's it's so so stupid. I love using Pokemon as a wall. It is not nearly as annoying compared to something like Lucy in Generation 8, where it just like came in, spam soft out, and left. Or top to back. Those two Pokemon are demon. This Pokemon, it's breakable, just that on first sight, you cannot break him. It takes a lot of time to wear him down. He can be worn down much easier than any other stall Pokemon, but on first sight, he is one of the strongest walls in the game. Now, we're coming to the end of the second part, and the third part will be the really really short. This is Torkoal. Torkoal is in the OU game. He always used to be in the U tier, now he's bumped up to OU. Because why? Protosynthesis is a real thing. In Pokemon like Roar and Moon, Red Tusk, they all appreciate the Protosynthesis being activated by him. Now, he's basically running the same set of Lava Plume, Stealth Round, Rapid Spin, and Yawn. Basically, any Hazard Setter, Burn Spreader, and well, Yawn is basically gonna force out a Pokemon so you can send it to the guys safely. That's basically how this Pokemon works. It works the same as it did in any other Sun team previously. But now it's just that it supports a stronger cause. <laughs> Which is what's making it so good. Well, I'll put the 8 in. Yeah. Last 3 Pokemon, part 3. Fox Specs. Now, when you talk about Fox Specs, you might think like King of Stall. Well, this King of Stall has been with the one of the lowest usage in the US region. He does not have access to Stalled. Recover has been nerfed. Now, those two things, that Tox effects, downhill. Now he's just basically forced to live without Scald. He has to run normally this set, or a combination of like maybe Tox effect for, I don't know, Poison Jab or Toxic. And most of the time, you would actually see him with the Gen Button sometimes. Just so he can eat an attack and let your teammate come in. Literally, that's Tox effects. He's now just gone from a, from like the King of Stall to just semi stalling. Like, not even a King of Semi Stalling, just semi stalling. It's, it's it's basically just a King's Fall from Grace, you know, an Angel's Fall from Grace. Or rather, a Demon. This Pokemon's not very fun to play against. 
can just non just harass lights into I would say um what would I say okay uh we'll go pure water I feel like that'll be bad as well I can just go skill type as well oh. doesn't really hurt to always go skill type on that next up entire anador oh oh this one almost didn't owe you I'm actually pretty surprised but yes it is max attack max speed atom and nature Dragon headset. It's mainly what's keeping it there. Surprisingly, I don't know why. But most of the time, it's dragon headset. <laughs> I have no idea why. Fast less than a flying tire, just so you can get all earthquakes and flying timings that come your way. And, and yeah, it's just Tyranitar. There's not much to say about it. Again, it's not one of the Pokemon that I'm shocked to see still here. I would expect it to not be even here, but it's still here somehow. With no sandwich Pokemon. There's no Houndstone here. There's just nothing. How's it still here? I don't know. Lastly, we have Volcarona. This Pokemon is still holding strong for you tier. The Terra Grass set and Giga Drain. This Pokemon is not a sleeper. It still runs you know, 301 speed and put the rest in the bulk. Again, this 300 speed tier is now super important because it's Great Tusk and Gomora. I was feeling Great Tusk with this Pokemon. Also, the Giga Drain and get a kill. It's that simple. It's basically just the previous vocal owner, just without loops anymore. Bug Bus, Blink Door, Giga Drain, and Quiver Dance. And that's it. Those are all OU Pokemon. So, again, I'll leave all of these Pokemon down in the description. You have to check it out, and well, just tell me what sets I missed out, or maybe what sets you think you see showing up a lot. Or maybe some even of your own sets, you know, that'd be pretty cool as well. Um, but with that, I'm just ending the video off here. See you guys, next one. Bye.